Roles and permission in ERP Next. So in this video we will see first what is role and then we will see how to create a new role and then what is role profile. So let's begin. Now role in ERP Next defines a permission for accessing various doc types in ERP Next. So you can see that it's written over here that role includes the permission for accessing doc type. Now what does it mean? So we know that ERP Next there are various roles such as we have sales manager and then we have an HR user. So each of these different roles have a different permission, different set of permissions to various doc types. Like we can see that sales manager here have an access to lead doc type and then he, they, he or she will have an access to appointment or to the sales order, to campaign and more, more such related doc types. Similarly, an HR user is also one of the role and HR user will have access to job applicant, to job opening doc type, to leave allocation and department. Now permission are of different types such as we have read, we have write, we have create, update, save, submit and more. So what we do is for each role we will define various set of permissions such as you might want that HR user to only read the leave allocation. You might want this. So you can assign that particular permission to that. Now how do you assign a permission? So let's go to the desk and see it in more detail. So we have the several users over here. Now if I go to any one of the user, let's go to this user right now. So you can see we have this role profile over here. Now we have the different roles present like HR manager, HR user. Now if I click on any of this, I'll get some more information about which all doc types are allowed. That is you can see they have attendance department and also here we have this level and we have read, write, create, delete, submit, cancel and amend and set user permission. So not all these doc types, they, for not all doc type they will be having the same permission. Like for some doc type they, they can only read. Like we have this daily work summary over here. So they can only read this particular doc type. They cannot write, they cannot create, they cannot submit. And similarly for this employee health ins insurance, they only have this read permission. So this is how you can set different permissions for different doc types. So I hope role is clear with you. And also, so if let's say like HR manager right now, uh, all right, now let's select something else, not HR manager. All right, let's go to the student. Okay, so student have an access to the student applicant, student program and student. So let's say you want to create, you want to give student an access to a doc type named as a course. So how will you do that? For that, what you'll do is you'll go into the role permission manager. And then we'll select a document type. So since I said that I want student, like so let's let's first select the role student. All right. And we'll select the doc type. All right. So here you see you see the student only have access to student applicant, student program and the student doc type. So what I'll select is course doc type. So you see that for course doc type and for a student role, there is no permission set. That is, they don't have an access to this course doc type. So what I'll do is I'll create a new role. And you just, let's say you just want them to read the courses that is there. And so now you can see that we have already have this read permission set over here and they have an export. And all right, let's add email too. So now the student can email this particular course doc type also. So this is how you create a new role permission for any set of existing roles over here. So if you see any role and if you see that they don't have an access to another doc type or any custom doc type that you might have created and you might want to give them an access, if, you, if, the, if it is not there, then you can just use this role permission manager and assign permissions. So I hope it's clear about the role and about the various level of permission that are there. All right, so let's come back here. Okay, so let's say you want to create a new role. So you saw here that there is uh, all these different types of role and you might want to create a new role. Let's say you want to create a new role as an applicant and you don't want to give this particular role a desk access. Now what I mean by desk access is that you don't want them to like come into this and access all these modules and have a look at the doc types and all that. So you just want them to like restrict to a portal or a website. So we'll do it right now. 
and also for this particular role you you want them to access the screening questions now this is a custom doc type that we have created and we have a job applicant so you want them to give a permission to read screening question and you want them to give a permission to create a job applicant that is they are applying for a job so they'll be creating this doc type writing into that doc type what, that's what i mean all right so let's go and create a new role so to create a new role you'll go to the role list now i have already created applicant so i'll just walk you through it all right to create a new role you'll click on new and you'll just add a role name Let, let's say i'll create applicant 2 since i already have an applicant so applicant 2 all right so now this role has been created and over here you can see that we have this desk access now if you don't want to give them a desk access you can simply just uncheck this and this is the route for this particular role and if you want to restrict this uh, role to a particular domain then you can also do it over here and if disabled if you don't want this role to like be present or so you can just disable this all right so now i have already created this applicant role so what i'll do is now we'll go to the role permission manager okay let me refresh it and i'll select a role that i have just created right now applicant 2 so you see that applicant 2 doesn't have any permission doesn't have any permission to access any of the doc type so what I'll do is I'll select a doc type. Le now I just said that I want to give them access to screening questions. So I'll create screening question and I'll add a new rule for this. And like I said, I only want to give them a read permission and let's say write permission. All right, now let's go to another doc type like job applicant. And I want them to create a job applicant to create a new doc type, read, write, create and then delete no not delete that's it only this much permissions are enough so this is how you create a new role and so al also this role is only can only access the portal like I said before uh, portal or the website they don't have an access inside this desk and all they cannot access all the other modules and everything all right so this was about the how to create a new role and also if you want like um, whenever a user signs up on the website if you want to set this as a default role all you have to do is go to the website and you can go to this portal over here and over here you can see that default role at the time of sign up so I have set it applicant now if you want to set it applicant too since I have just created it so I'll just add it okay so whenever there's somebody signs up on the website if you are having a recruitment functionality on the website so you can use this role default role at this at the time of sign up all right so let's go back now next up we have is creating a role profile now what is a role profile so role profile consists of different role and it stores a different it, it stores basically different roles so you can see that we have this role profile as a sales over here all right so like when you create the sales role profile you can store multiple roles inside of it like we have quality user we have sales user we have purchase manager stock user and sales manager so now what what is its use so let's say you have an employee now you have somebody new user in your team so every time a new user comes in your team you might have to like go into this um, wait I'll go to the role user list again see so every time a new user is created on the system you'll have to like go into this roles settings and then you'll have to assign different roles over here now it might be tedious if you have like a various number of employee or various number of user using this ERP next system so what you can do is you can create a role profile and after you have created a role profile you can just uh, add multiple roles inside of it and uh, for the user you can just add that role profile over here and all this uh, different roles can be assigned automatically now what we'll do is we'll create a new role profile all right let's go to the role profile list so I already have the sales over here and I'll create a new role and let's say the name of role as sales 2 
all right so for this role what i want is i want that whenever an employee whenever a user is joining with this role profile i want them to be an employee to be a sales master manager to be a stock user sales manager sales user and purchase master manager and projects user all right let's save it so now this role profile has been created now what i'll do is i'll go into one of the user list like okay let's consider this user only so you see now this user only have this two role that is hr user and hr manager and i'll select a role profile this one i'll just create it so i'll select this one and you can see that automatically it will have all this other roles assigned like you see employee project user project manager sales manager and sales user and all this so i hope you understood everything about role about what is what are the different types of permission and how you can assign permission to an existing role and then you can also how to how you can create a new role and how you can create a role profile and what is the use of role profile so thank you so much for watching and if you have any doubt do mention them in the comment box thank you